So I'm going to be honest. We were going to try to be good YouTubers and show you the happening downtown scene, but we hate it. <laughs> so we couldn't make it very long, maybe 15 minutes. Just know that there's lots and lots of shopping, lots and lots of restaurants, um, a lot of Americanized type stuff. So instead, we decided to jump in the car and um, we're going to grab some lunch at a little local, local place. Spot. So let's go try this local restaurant. What's the restaurant? Cas Casuela. Cas Casuela. We have so, no idea what's there. No so clue. It there was just on the way. Bugs. So let's hope it's not bugs. I hope it's bugs. <laughs> let's check it out. <laughs> We're not heading to Cas Cas <laughs> It is because they are closed. All right, so our restaurant's closed. So we're gonna walk across the street to this spot because it says Wally's Takeaway. So let's see what Wally has to offer. All right, guys, so we are at Wally's Takeaway. I don't know if they're open either. All right, guys, it's us again. <laughs> None of those places were uh, were functioning. Mm -mm, they didn't work. So uh, we're gonna find some food first. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just drove to a spot, Mikey's. Um, we're gonna see if there's. Let's walk in here and see if humans are inside. Yeah, they looked at us like we were breaking and entering. Um, so. I mean, it's wide the fuck open, we're, but it's not open. We're, we're, we're gonna find some food, guys. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I just know it. When you try to do the local thing, and then there's no local thing. I think maybe restaurants don't open for the locals till like four o'clock when they're getting off work or something. Maybe. Maybe that's it. So here we go. Off on an adventure. All right. I see a mystery machine, and there's a place called Scooby Snacks, and there's a person. We're gonna go. We're going to Scooby Snacks to see what they got. They have us at the mystery machine. All right. So check out this mystery machine. It's had a it's had a bad day. It, uh, it's had a real bad day. All right. We're gonna try. So you don't think that you're gonna see that in Aruba, but there it is. So, I mean, it looks like they got some barbecued stuff. Let's try this. All right, guys, we finally found food. So, we are going to be getting uh, some empanadas. Empanadas and probably a smoothie from Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. yeah. That was perfect. <laughs> I'm excited about these empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys from? Carolina de Norte. North Carolina. Yeah. Don't make no, not, not like really. this. You don't have, you guys have like Mexican food? Yeah. yeah. Mexican, Cuban, you know, all that stuff. But, but it's become very Americanized. Yes. Two chicken, three, three cheese, one beef. Perfecto. Yes.
gracias por todo. Ah, So we have two chicken and a beef left. Alright, you gotta taste it. You said cuatro. Alright. Si Good. That's delicious. Mm. Thank you. Qué rico. Delicioso. So first off, guys, anything that is greasing through the bag that much has to be tasty. So uh, let's uh, let's open these things up. I think that's the cheese, right? I think so. Yeah. Plenty of napkins. It's super hot. Yeah. She's gonna have to take pause for a moment. If it's too hot for me, yeah. Oh my goodness. That is gonna be super tasty. Super tasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Guys, so we got six empanadas that were made fresh while we were standing there for $9.50. Six of those. We're going to be full for $9.50. So, finding local took a little work, but well worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. All right, so the first one you saw was the cheese. This one is ground chicken. And, um, oh, it smells good. It has some herbs and spices in it. Mm. The cornmeal that they use to make these empanadas is just beautiful. It's got such a, a great flavor. If you wanted to pin a flavor on it, think of a cornbread sweet muffin a sweet cornbread muffin, but fried crispy. And that's basically, I can't get it to focus on this food for anything, there we go. And that's basically what these empanadas are. But again, we are going to be completely full for $9.50. I got three, but I think I'm only gonna be eating like two. Yep. So we got Jeep snacks. I got the beef. I didn't get deep enough. It's so hot. Goodness. How is it? It's good. Yeah. The only thing that would make it even better is if I got her to add cheese to that too. Yeah. But super Yeah, good. so if you ordered just beef or chicken, it's just that meat. It's not, they don't add cheese to it automatically. So guys, <laughs> we just... Finished our meal. Are you getting, getting cleaned up there? We just finished our meal and how was it? It was delicious. Delicious. So delicious. So the reason I'm back on is because that restaurant would be passed over by most of the people that are tourists to this place. You're gonna see the video of the kitchen and say, oh, but it's not NSF. It doesn't look stainless steel. It can be dirty. Who cares? That's why I love these other countries. Because if your Aunt Sally made a great lasagna and you thought she should sell it, if she wanted to sell her great lasagna, even though she washes her hands and all that stuff, in the US they would tell her she couldn't sell it unless she buys about $100,000 worth of NSF certified equipment. And it's just bullshit, man. Go eat some of this great, great food. Don't be a puss. You're gonna be fine. This is worth it, guys. Get out here and see the real places that you're going to, not the touristy shit.